This is a shot where I put my phone to a door viewer and this is the Blender camera. There are two ways to create this perspective in Blender. You could model all parts of the door viewer and put it accurately together, but this is stupid, right? There's the much simpler way. Add a camera, set your aspect ratio to 1 to 1, switch to the green icon, your camera properties, and change the type from perspective to panoramic. Set the panorama type to fisheye equidistant and your camera perspective will change in a similar way to what you know from a door viewer. The only setting you need to change now is the field of view, according to your needs. I used 150 degrees by the way. When you press F12 to render, it looks like it should. Some post-processing and you are done. But wasn't there a stupid method to model a real door viewer with all necessary parts? If you are crazy enough to do the math for the shape of each lens, the distance between each part, and set everything to the correct position, we can talk about setting up the glass material for the front cover of the door viewer. Use the glass BSDF with an index of refraction of 1.5, add a Musgrave texture, select it and press Ctrl T to add a texture coordinate and mapping node. Increase the scale for the Z value to 10 and the Musgrave scale to 10. Also increase the detail level to 15. Put a color ramp between and set the value between 0.025 and 0.075. No material is purely reflective. Add a noise texture and a bump node, increase the detail to 15 and turn down the scale of the noise texture to 0.001 and the strength of the bump node to something between 0.01 and 0.02. No surface is purely smooth. Add another camera, but this time use the default setting. Just decrease the focal length to 20 or something like that. And when you press F12 now, you have simulated a door viewer, including small bumps and reflections inside the lens. But we can improve it even more. At some point lights, white behind the camera and switch to your compositing tab after rendering. Enable use nodes and start isolating the outer edge. Use an eclipse mask, set the width and height accordingly to your image, blur it out a bit and use it as the factor for a mix node. Add an exposure node with the value of minus 1.5 and blur it out again. A lens distortion and two glare nodes set to ghosts and streaks will change it to a chromatic blurry reflection. The rest of the image also needs to be blurred out a bit. Nothing in real life looks totally crisp. Another two lens distortions with a glare node set to fog glow will create the final look of a realistic door viewer. Keep in mind, the accurate door viewer takes twice as long to render as the first method. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.